Hello, my name's Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Nextcloud on Dockage. So, um, I'm going to be using PostgreSQL for the database on this one. So, a little bit about this series, I'm going over home labs, turn on things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse, so... Go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So, let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what we'll be installing today. Uh, Nextcloud, we're using the Linux server image. Um, Nextcloud can store your photos, documents, and uh, things like that. Um, it tells you about updating it. Uh, you will need to go from a major version. You can't go from 14 to 16. You'll have to upgrade to 14 to 15 and then 15 to 16. Um, so I'm going to be using uh, the image tags. Um, all your data is stored in config and data volumes. So that that's what we'll be installing today. So we're going to start on Big Bear Video Assets. I'm going to go over here to um, NextCloud. And then I'm going to go to how to install Linux server, Nextcloud, and PostgreSQL on Dockage right here. I'm going to click it. And then this is what it looks like. Um, so I'm going to go in the Docker Compose. So version 3 of Docker Compose file format is being used. I'm going to set services. And then the first service underneath the services is called Big Bear Nextcloud. The image is coming off of Linux server, and that's coming off Docker Hub because there's no year before this. The Docker image tag is 2802. That's the currently the uh, latest version right now. Uh, the, cont uh, the container name is going to be called Big Bear Next Cloud. Uh, this is so it doesn't generate a random uh, uh, Docker name. Uh, so the environment variables are user ID and group ID, and then the time zone. I would set to this to your own time zone. And then volumes. So. Uh, the Nextcloud config right here is a local volume that's defined down in the bottom. And on the container is config. Nextcloud data is a local volume that's defined in the bottom as well. And on the container is a, da a data. So on the ports, um, the host port is 7580. If this does collide with another port on your host, you can change it. And then on the container is 443. Restart and let stop. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails or any other reason, then it will try to restart. And then I'm going to put it in the Nextcloud network that's defined in the bottom as well. So now I'm going to define a database service. So um, a big bear Nextcloud DB. And then the same for the container name. So it doesn't generate a random name. And then the image is Postgres. That's coming up Docker Hub by default because there's no year before, before that. So we're using 14.2. Restart on failure. So that means that if it fails for any reason, it will try to restart. But if for any other reason, then it will not try to restart. And then um, volumes. So NetCloud PG data. That's on the host side. And that's a local volume to find that down in the bottom as well. Var lib PostgreSQL data is on the container side. Do not change the container side at all. And then uh, on ports and volumes, do not change the container side. And then environment variables. So the Postgres uh, password is set to dockage. I would change this to your own password. And then Postgres user is set to dockage. And then the Postgres DB is NetCloud. So you're going to need this on the install screen for Nextcloud. And then the next, uh, the network is set in the Nextcloud network. It's defined down here, and it's a bridge network. So all the volumes are defined down here. So Nextcloud config, Nextcloud data, and Nextcloud PG data. They're all local volumes. So I'm going to go over here to copy raw file. Then I'm going to go over to my dockage and get this set up installed. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. 
So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now I'm going to start on my dockage and I'm going to go up to compose stack name. I'm going to put a stack name with next cloud stack. And then I'm going to go over to the editor over here. I'm going to paste in the Docker Compose that I explained over in Big Bear Video Assets. And I did copy it, so I'm going to paste it over here. So now once you do that, I'm going to say deploy right here. And what that's done is it downloaded the Docker image off the registry, got it extracted, and got it up with Docker Compose underneath because this does use the Docker engine. It also set up the networks and the volumes. So we got it up and running. So now I'm going to go over the stack options. So on the home page, you get a, a status of your stacks. So active, exited, and inactive stacks. You can see your stacks over here. So I'm going to go into the stack. So you can have your actions up here. So edit, restart, update, stop, and then stop it inactive, and then delete. You can see your containers that are in the stack. So Big Bear Next Cloud, and then Big Bear Next Cloud DB. Um, you can go into the UI from here. Um, you can go into the container from the bash right here. Then there we go. You're in the container. You can go to SH as well. And you can go back to the stack. You can see the console logs down here. Great for debugging. You can see a read-only version of the Docker Compose right here. And if you want to edit the Docker Compose, you can go up to edit button right here. And you can add a service underneath the services like this. And then um, you can see it's been added, and you can see it over in the UI, and you can see it over in the editor right here. Um, I'm going to delete this. So you can add URLs. You can uh, set environment variables, uh, uh, set up networks, and you can see an edited version of the, um, the Docker Compose over here. So you can edit this, and it'll show up in the UI and vice versa. You can go and edit the UI from here. Um, you have actions up here, so deploy, save, stop in inactive, and then discard the changes. I'm going to discard the changes. So uh, the rest of the actions are restart, update, stop. So uh, that's a little bit about the stack options. So now I'm going to go to the UI. So now um, once you start the install for an xCloud, you're going to need to put the ho host name is Big Bear Next Cloud DB. And then you're also going to need to uh, get the Postgres password right here and the Postgres user. And you're going to need to put the Nextcloud uh, DB in, so the DB name. So I'm going to um, go into the browser and I'm going to um, go to this in the browser. So HTTPS because it does use a self-signed certificate. And then I'm going to go to my Dockage IP. Then I'm going to go to my uh, my Nextcloud port, so 7580. And then now I'm going to go to the install. So now you'll have a self-signed certificate, and it'll say connection is not private. I'm going to say advanced, proceed. Then now you can put a username in for your admin account, and then a password in. And then I'm going to say storage and da a database. I'm going to click on this. And then I'm going to configure the database as a PostgreSQL. Then I'm going to put a database user in of uh, Dockage, and this might be different for you because you might have changed it. So now the de a database password is Dockage. The database name is Nextcloud. And then the database host I said was going to be Next, uh, Big Bear Nextcloud DB. So um, we can use the uh, da database host name because we set it in a Nextcloud uh, a network. So um, now, once you got all that done, I'm going to say install. This can take a little bit to get set up. So now it's loading the recommended apps, and we're all uh, installed and set up. So um, you can install the recommended apps if you'd like, or you can skip. I'm going to just skip and show you it is working. So now you'll get the intro video. And... Um, you can see recommended files. You can go into these files and you can see do documents. You can see the next cloud flyer right here. It's going into the PDF. 
and um, you can exit out of here. You can go to the homepage again, and um, you can go, go from files to photos, and then um, and now you can see your photos right here. So now you can go into this photo and you can see it. And you have options over here. You can go up here and set your status, appearance, accessibility, personal settings. And then you can go into personal settings like that. You can go into administration settings. And then um, you can go into personal info and then security. And you can change your password and then passwordless authentication, uh, devices. Um, you can go in and the notifications and then mobile and desktop. So you can download the apps. You can go in sharing and then appearance accessibility, availability, flow, and then privacy. So that's how to get next cloud um, running on dockage using PostgreSQL for the, dev, uh, the database. I just went over step by step on getting Nextcloud um, with PostgreSQL running on dockage. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need community support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.